Now, before getting into epigenetics, I would like to uh, make understand that uh, uh, what is the basic concept of uh, genetics. So, as we know, as we all know, cells are the fundamental working unit of uh, every human being. All the instructions required to direct their activities are encoded into it. That what we call it as the DNA. So each DNA are the one which will make us like what we are right now. When we uh, uh, compare this, uh, just a small example, how DNA is so important. Uh, the human and the chimpanzees, we are just 1% difference in our gene. But still we remain as uh, human. And this 1% of gene will, is what make us like what we human as human. Now DNA from human is made up of uh, approximately <clears throat> 3 billion nucleotide bases. There are four fundamental types uh, of bases uh, that, that, that forms the DNA. Um, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and thymine, what we call it as ADEZ. And there is a, there's always a, um, uh, what do you a system where A always pairs with uh, D. And G, the guanine always paired with G, uh, C. So A, T, and G, C. So these all the pairing things. So when this pairs in a different sequence, different format, then you have a different gene expression which happens. The sequence, all the order of the basis is what determines our life instruction. All this sequence, all these genes will, will give a, a mechanism or give a, a instruction to us like how we have to function. Um, interesting, uh, okay, our DNA sequence is more than nine, as I, as I told you, it's 99%, we are similar to chimpanzees, that is less than 1% or uh, if I want to be more precise, it's 15, just 15 million bases as it's the only difference between us and the chimpanzees. Now, with this uh, 3 billion Bases, there are about 20,000 plus genes, a specific uh, <clears throat> sequence of bases that provide instruction to make important proteins that triggers various biological uh, functions. Okay. Now, now we understood how the DNA is, like uh, what all the important of this AT and GC pairings, and what all the uh, sequence, uh, the genus uh, sequence, which will um, uh, will lead into different uh, proteins and that proteins uh, will function into their respective uh, uh, factors which are which they are meant to be now let us understand what is this epigenetics epigenetic literally means uh, above it is just derived from a greek word it is just on top of it like we have something on top of it we have something else so that <clears throat> what we call it is an epigenetics so it refers to an external modification uh, to the dna that runs genes either off or it on. This modified, um, this modification do not change the DNA sequence. Instead, um, they affect how the cells reads the gene. Uh, the same thing. So for, for example, uh, the reason why a, since a skin cell look like, uh, look different from a brain cell, it's all because of this uh, coding. So it's all basically from a same DNA, but uh, cell cells, skin cells, always a skin cell, and the brain cell is always a brain cell. There are, there are differentiation and you have different cells in our body. How this different cells in our body is originated from the same DNA? That is all because of this epigenetic uh, reading. Okay. Uh, when we talk about the history, the term epigenetic was coined by Conrad in 1942. It uh, was derived from the, the word, it's a Greek word, epigenesis which is originally described in the influence of genetic process on the development. So later Ernest joined him and then they uh, uh, studied this more in a, in a elaborated way.